All right, boys and girls, so I'm going to show you how to get to the activity that you need to do or need to find today. So you are going to complete page 251. And to do that, you are going to read Exposing Rock Layers on How Earthquakes Can Change Earth's Surfaces. Answer the questions after you've finished reading. You're going to answer the questions, how can earthquakes expose fossils and rock layers? Remember to answer in complete sentences. You're also going to answer questions two, three, and four. So what you're going to do is you're going to need to go to ClassLink and then go to Inspire Science, or McGraw-Hill, and then Inspire Science. And when you get to Inspire Science, make sure, and you should be, you're on Patterns of Earth's Changing Surface Lesson 3. Once you are sure that you are there, you can click on the Lesson Resources right here. And you are going to go past the video that you watched on Monday. And you're going to click on the Exposing Rock Layers article. It's surrounded in the teal triangle. So when you click that, it will pull up the article, Exposing, exposing Rock Layers. It's only a one-sheeter. Quick and easy read. So what you'll do is you'll read these questions, read these, um, read this passage and then answer these questions. Okay. After you finished with that, you are going to complete page. You're going to do the performance task. You are going to complete pages 252 and 253. Um, we talked a lot about this yesterday. You also got to watch a Generation Genius video. Um, you are going to use research. That means you can use, like it says here, your science handbook, and you can also Google to find the answers, okay? Mrs. Nest Heidi will be there to help you. So make sure that you answer all the questions completely, okay? All the way to the end of page 253. Once you're finished with that, you'll take a quick quiz about trace fossils. You will see that there is a dinosaur fossil and a, and a mammal fossil, and you're going to try to use the evidence of the trace fossils to determine what happened in the story of those two animals. Um, I hope everyone's doing okay, and I hope you have a very wonderful Valentine's Day. I miss you, and I can't wait to see you on Tuesday.